Summon Us by M.T. Adams is a thrilling high fantasy tale teeming with magic, intrigue, and the ethereal bonds of destiny. At the heart of this sweeping narrative is the central character, Eris, a young woman who is about to discover that her life is far from what it seems and that her fate is inexorably linked to a world of ancient powers and supernatural beings. Eris has always felt like an outsider, never quite fitting into the mundane reality of her birth. But when she inadvertently summons a mystical creature known as Kirin, a fierce warrior from a realm beyond her understanding, she is thrust into a world of magic that had always been beyond her grasp, but not her heritage. Kirin, a member of a magical race known as the Ascendants, is a being of immense power, tasked with protecting his realm from the forces of darkness that seek to corrupt and destroy. His appearance in Eris's world is no coincidence. It is the result of a convergence of prophecies long foretold by seers in his land. Kirin must guide Eris to realize her potential as a pivotal figure in the battle between good and evil. As Eris grapples with the reality of her newfound powers and purpose, she learns that she is the last in a line of powerful summoners, individuals capable of calling forth beings from other realms to aid in their quests. Together with Kirin, she must navigate the perils of her own world while bracing for the inevitable clash with the dark forces that threaten Kirin's homeland. The beings of Kirin's world are not the only entities drawn to Eris's latent power. Other factions emerge, each with their own agendas and desires for the might Eris possesses. A cloak-and-dagger dance ensues, as various groups attempt to woo, coerce, or outright force Eris into alignment with their causes. Among these are the enigmatic Society of the Crescent Moon, whose motives are as shadowed as their name suggests, and the Brotherhood of the Ascendant, a faction of rogue beings determined to exploit Eris's abilities for their own ends. Throughout her journey, Eris develops deep bonds with a host of characters who become integral to her story and the impending conflict. There's Liana, a wise and gentle friend who becomes Eris's confidant and guide in matters of the heart and spirit. Alex, a stalwart ally with a complex history of his own, provides Eris with the strength and resources to combat the forces that seek to manipulate her. Together, this cadre of allies forms a bulwark against the encroaching darkness. At the same time, Eris's relationship with Kirin evolves from one of mere summoner and summoned to a profound connection that transcends the boundaries of their respective worlds. Kirin's strong sense of duty and honor is tested as his feelings for Eris deepen, and he grapples with the implications of their connection for the impending war with the darkness that seeks to invade his home. Eris's growth as a character is mirrored in her mastery of her summoning powers. With each test and trial, she becomes more adept at calling forth otherworldly allies, learning to control and direct their powers for her purposes. These summonings, however, come at a price, and Eris must balance the toll they take on her physically and emotionally with the necessity of wielding them in battle. The narrative builds toward a crescendo as the various factions vying for Eris's allegiance make their moves, and the true nature of the threat to Kirin's world is revealed. A malevolent force known as the Harrower, a being of pure malice and corruption, seeks to breach the veil between worlds and cast all into chaos. A master of manipulation and deceit, the Harrower has orchestrated events from the shadows, influencing allies and enemies alike to further its sinister ends. In the climactic struggle, alliances are tested and sacrifices are made. Eris and her companions are forced to confront their deepest fears and doubts as they stand against an enemy that seems invincible. The battles are fierce, not only physically but also within their souls, as each character must confront the darkness within themselves to overcome the external threat. Through these trials, Eris emerges not just as a powerful summoner, but as a unifying force for those resisting the harrower's influence. Her conviction and courage inspire those around her, rallying a diverse group of beings to stand together against the looming catastrophe. Her journey from uncertainty to leadership is a testament to the strength of the human spirit when faced with insurmountable odds. In the end, the true power of summoning, not merely as a martial force, but as a call to unity among disparate peoples, becomes the key to thwarting the harrower's schemes. Eris's ability to summon is not just about bringing fighters to the battlefield, 
It is about summoning hope, resolve, and the collective willpower of a coalition of beings united against a common enemy. As the dust settles and the world returns to a fragile peace, Eris and her allies must contend with the aftermath of their victory. The fabric of both worlds has been altered by the conflict, and the boundary between them will never be the same again. Eris, for her part, finds a new purpose in the rebuilding, serving as a bridge between worlds, a summoner not of warriors, but of peace and reconciliation. Kieran's fate is intertwined with Eris's, and as they stand on the threshold of a future fraught with unknowns, they do so with the strength of their bond and the knowledge that together they have changed the course of destiny. Summon Us is a novel that weaves a rich tapestry of magic, camaraderie, and the timeless struggle between light and shadow. Eris's story is one of self-discovery, empowerment, and the unyielding pursuit of hope, even when faced with the darkest of adversaries. M.T. Adams crafts a world where the act of summoning becomes an allegory for the power of connection between individuals, between worlds, and within ourselves. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.